Nicola, can you describe what the mood of the locker room is after fighting so hard and then uh, obviously the disappointment of that shot? Uh, I mean, we were there before. I think the, the second or third game against Clippers, I think we had it and we kind of lost it in the end. Uh, so uh, we put the effort there, we put the fight. Um, yeah, we lost the game, but uh, I think the, the, we played well uh, most of the game. Uh, we were down, we, we came back again. So um, we're going to keep our heads up and uh, on to the next one. Next, we'll go to Vic Lombardi. Vic, go ahead. Nicola, um, Nicola, losing the way you did certainly sucks, but do you think you figured something out on how to defend them tonight? I mean, you know, they're, they're two, uh, they have two really good, really good, really good players. They have... Uh, LeBron, who is the probably best 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 player in the league, and they have a AD who is the probably best scorer in the league. So I think uh, it's it's not easy to figure it out. They are really talented. Uh, we can just make make them tougher, make them uh, feel uncomfortable. So answer that question, maybe. But they're really talented. They're gonna they're gonna find solutions. So we just need to we just need to kind of. Stay on top and just just make them make them uh, uncomfortable. Next, we'll go to Sean Keeler. Sean, go ahead. Nicola, again, it's such so emotional, a roller coaster game. Can you take something from kind of your one on one with Dwight Howard and getting kind of the last laugh there until the end and and some of that tete a tete? I mean, it's a basketball game, you know, so. He's a he's a he's a big guy. He's he knows his uh, his role, and um, he's doing it really well, you know. So, but it's not just me against him. It's 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 Nuggets against Lake, uh, Lakers. Yeah. Next, we'll go to Kendra Andrews. Kendra, go ahead. Kind of following up on that. I mean, you're not just going up against Dwight Howard, but you're sorry. Here, I'll turn up my volume. No, 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 I don't. I, I, I hear you. Okay, sorry. Um, you're not just going up against Dwight Howard, but also JaVale McGee and um, just all of the bigs that they have. How hard is that for you to continuously having to go up against, you know, four different bigs in the same game instead of maybe getting some relief by mismatches down the stretch? Mm, you know, to be honest, I don't think about, think about it. You know, I just... I just uh, Whoever is an O over there, I'm gonna try to beat him and try to try to uh, win the game. So it is what it is. Uh, we we I, I again say it's not just me against them. It's Nuggets against Lakers. Next, we'll go to Sam Amick. Sam, go ahead. So. Your view of the last play, and were you surprised when, when Mason came off? I mean, it's going to be him or, or, or LeBron, so we kind of knew it. Uh, this was happened a little, little bit miscommunication. Uh, I think I was I had a really good contest, to be honest. I think I was right there. But uh, as soon as he, he shot the ball, he shot it really well. Like, you can – like, I kind of felt it that it, it's going in. And I think it, it was a switch. So, it was uh, – I mean, great, great, great players make great, great shots. So, and he did it. So, um, he's a really good player. Which, to be honest, I don't know, and I didn't even ask it. It happened, I mean, you know, so it's it passed, so it happened. Next, we'll go to Mark Medina. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Nicole. Um, given your guys' resiliency during this whole playoffs, where do you guys draw from that, uh, from those previous series, and also in tonight's game to be able to, to overcome this uh, latest challenge? I mean, we are we are underdogs. Is that how you say underdogs? Yeah. I mean, we we're gonna we we need to fight. That's our only only chance, you know. We could have they were they were up 15, isn't it, or 16? I don't know how much they were up. We could just like call it a game and 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 quit. But 
you know, I think we just want to get uh, give the fight. You know, we just maybe it's going to be a 30 point, but fight needs to be there, an effort. We have time for one more question. We'll end with Harrison Wind. Harrison, go ahead. Hey, Nicola, PJ played a bunch for you guys uh, in the second half down the stretch. I, I know his missed free throws hurt, but what was your, your kind of your take about his impact? I mean, he didn't, to be honest. Uh, he, 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 he did so much good things. In, in the, in the, he was aggressive. He was going to the paint. He was uh, making adva advantage for us. He took two charges. So those two free throws doesn't really uh, matter that much. He played great. And... Uh, just by him, I, uh, just by looking at him, and um, before he because he's shooting before me, uh, literally every time. So I kind of see a little bit uh, of his workouts or how he's practicing. And uh, I'm nobody, but I see the how he's developing. I see how he's uh, into it. He buying, you know. So and li he's listening to coaches. So it's really it's really nice to see the kind of upgrade that he did in. He's not playing, but he he didn't. He's upgrading. He's getting better. All right, Nicole, that will do it. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's my pleasure, like always.